Hello again and welcome to another episode. Uh, we have just left the South Oxford Canal and now we're on the Grand Union Canal. Uh, that makes Val a proper boater which is on the Grand Union Canal now. So um, yeah, and we're heading towards Braunston. Uh, so what, what did you make of the what did you make of the South Oxford? Well, it was a nice canal. Um, the landscape was very lovely. The views were great. Yeah, um, true. Uh, for the maintenance, I think it needs a lot of work. The gates were very difficult, very old. A lot of the paddles wouldn't work. Um, and on the canal itself, there was a lot of overhanging trees, um, which made it all a little bit difficult. Having said that, I will reiterate, it was beautiful, the landscape, so well worth the visit. Yeah, yeah, no, I well, summed up, I totally agree. Um, I mean, it's actually worse the nearer you are to Oxford, um, for some reason, I don't know why. Yeah. But, I mean, the overhanging trees there were appalling. I mean, the, the, the lock at Duke's Cut, Duke's Cut lock, was the worst I've ever been through. The, the maintenance of that was absolutely shocking. But, anyway, it's a beautiful canal, um, and here we are, after Braunston. We're going up the Leicester line. That'll be fun, eh? Yeah. Lots of old working boats on the Grand Union, as we shall see later. The elegant bridges at Braunston Turn. The North Oxford Canal is off to the left and we're looking for a mooring in Braunston which might be easier said than done. But hey, we're in luck. It's just after 11 which is always a good time to find a mooring. These fabulous bridges were built at the famous Horsley Works in 1834. Braunston Marina and the arm to the dry dock sit on what was originally the junction with the Oxford Canal. We moored in Braunston overnight uh, and we wanted to go and see the boaters graveyard which apparently is at the uh, church in, in Braunston. There was no sign of it. Um, I don't think it exists anymore, which is a real shame. Anyway, we had a wander around across the beautiful working boat, Raymond. Fabulous, isn't she? The Butty Raymond was launched in Braunston in 1958. Incidentally, that's the same year as me, although I wasn't launched in Braunston. Anyway, she was paired with narrowboat Roger and operated by Arthur and Rose Bray and Rose's son Ernie Kendall for the Blue Line Carriers. The Brays considered themselves to be the best, often working from 4am to 10pm, seven days a week. Their usual route, which was a round trip of about four days, took most boaters a week. 
The following day we head off again, having had a good look around Braunston. It's often considered the heart of the canal system, where North meets South, and All Saints Church is known as the Boaters Cathedral. Not only can its spire be seen for miles around, but many well-known boater families were buried in a specially reserved part of the graveyard. Braunston was known for its boat building, and Nurses Yard one of the most highly respected of boat builders. It opened its doors around 1870 and built boats mainly for long haulage. They supplied narrowboats for many of the larger fleets, such as Fellows Morton and Clayton and Barlows. Nurses also built pairs of horse boats for number ones boaters who owned their own boats. These were often paid off in instalments. In the 1920s, a narrowboat would cost about £225. Wooden boats were built in Braunston right up until the 1960s. The stop house coming up, where tolls were collected by the Grand Junction Canal Company. It was later a base for British waterways. Past the Gongoozler's Rest Cafe and another graceful Horsley Ironworks Bridge designed by Thomas Telford marks the entrance to the marina and boatyard. You can just see Raymond moored in the distance. Raymond is run and maintained by the charity Friends of Raymond. A link to their website is above, and I'm sure they'd welcome any donations. A link will also be posted in the description box. Butcher's Bridge. You can take a footpath up into the village from here, and to the left was the brickworks which supplied the bricks for Braunston Tunnel. Back in the day, working boats would be tied two or three abreast along here, leaving a narrow channel down the middle for passing craft. Star-class boat Princess Anne, built by Harland and Wolfe in 1935. She was originally called Plato and employed by the Grand Union Canal Carrying Company. She later worked as a full-length tug in Birmingham, right up until 1968. Waiting to go into the bottom lock, you can see where Raymond was launched, and the buildings once used by Willow Wren and Barney Boats. On the other side is the old pumping station, which was rebuilt in 1897. We get to share the locks, which is good, as there's still a water shortage. At lock 3 is the famous Admiral Nelson pub. The canal-based touring theatre company, Micron Theatre, perform here every year. Notice the Grand Union colours, black and white, at the top lock cottage. The tunnel is a mile and a quarter long and 15 foot 8 inches wide, which is enough for two narrowboats to pass. Now I've never met an oncoming narrowboat in a tunnel, that is about to change. A steam tug was employed in the tunnel from 1871, replacing an experiment with a continuous wire rope which passed down both walls. It was powered by an engine at one end and had a huge pulley at the other. Prior to this, boats were legged through by two men lying on legging boards which were hooked to the foredeck. If a boat approached from the opposite direction, the men would swing themselves and their boards out of the way at the last possible moment. 
all pretty precarious. Val brilliantly steers us past the oncoming boat, hugging the wall. She's much better at steering through tunnels than I am. Leaving the tunnel, there's less than two miles to go to Norton Junction, and there are plenty of moorings here. I don't particularly want to moor too close to the junction because of all the traffic noise from the nearby motorway, so here will do nicely. At Norton Junction, the Grand Union continues its passage to London, whereas we're heading to port and towards Leicester. <laughs> 